Hey, what's up? This is Taja V. Simpson. You're listening to the Red Rock Podcast Network. And always remember, the dream is real. You are listening to the Red Rock Podcast Network. Featuring Pod of Thrones and the Shiznit. This is the Red Rock Podcast Network. From Red Rock Studios in Los Angeles, California, this is the Shiznit. Now, put your hands together for the Shiznit. Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Shiznit Show. I am your boy. I am your host, Dino Red, and I have with me, as always, my ride or dies. Miss Dijon Monique is not with us today because she's uh, out in the woods trying to see if, you know, if a tree falls and nobody's around, will it make a sound? Trying to listen to bear shit. <laughs> but we have the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Pip Lily. I'm back from Instagram rehab. Yeah? yeah oh, my God. I, gotta, I, gotta, I can't stay off the grams, man. Really? It's my new Tumblr. Wow. That's, wow. That's where I see Dick. <laughs> wow. You okay, you know they got it on uh Twitter too. Oh, I know there's Dick on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I can't look at that on my uh, at work. Oh. I get I get <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cuz that's that's like graphic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah, that's graphic. Instagram has some it's like, "Oh no, this is like just meant nudes." Yeah, it's These suggestive. Are nudes. Yeah. Instagram's na uh Twitter's nasty. Yeah, Twitter's nasty. Twitter's <laughs> straight up porn. It's straight porn. Straight porn. It's real <laughs> real deal raw, nasty to the nitty gritty. Yeah. They don't hold anything back. No, they don't. Watch me suck this dick. <laughs> oh man. All right, man. So how's what's good, bro? Oh, uh, my life's good. Red Hulk came back at the at the uh the the house this week. Red Hulk came back. Okay, so for those of you who do not know, who are new to the show or missed that episode, Red Hulk is the alter ego of one of uh, Pip's uh, roommates. He starts drinking. When he starts drinking, Red Hulk comes out. <laughs> yeah, he, he came on, I guess it was Friday morning, just about 5 in the morning, just opened my door, just started flipping my light switch on and off. <laughs> so I woke up, I'm like, what the hell are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm sorry. And then he left. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was pissed. Yeah. Pissed. Pissed. Way, way more angry than the groceries, actually, because now you, I can get more groceries. I can't get no more sleep. So, so okay, just, just, just so I'll know in the order of, you know, skip uh, the pip scale of being pissed off. Pissing on your groceries is far more, far less offensive than waking you up out of your sleep. Look, I got a job. I can get more groceries. You can't get more sleep. Once they once it's gone, you can't make it up. I, I need my rest. I'm middle aged. I need all my hours. You're of talking sleep. to a man that's the same age as you and have had sleep issues all of his life. Well, I was sleeping good until even he came now. Along. Here's and the thing. I I just I I don't uh, I would I would not don't get it twisted. I would not take kindly to either of those things. Well, here's the thing, but it's, 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 a, it's also at this point, like, okay, you, so you, you pissed on my groceries mm -hmm. and then it's been two other times in between where he's had some messiness. Mm -hmm. So this is a fourth major infraction in two months. So, right. And you know what? And I have to, let me, let me kind of go back and, and, and a little do some, some retrospect stuff. I think when you initially brought it up, don't get me wrong. I still think just the act in and of itself is just like way more like I, I was it's just heinous. shocked. I, yeah, heinous. I was just shocked that you and Dijon was just cracking up about it. Thought it was so hilarious. Um, but I also feel like what I didn't say because I 
did not want to put like, I didn't want to like kind of jinx the situation or put like this negative thing out there, but I felt like it was a, was a bad sign sure. of, of things to come. Right. It was, it was a red flag. Oh, absolutely. That's what I felt like. And uh, I ignored it. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I was willing to just like, let's see. I'm new. I don't know him. Right. Let's see. Let's now, give him a benefit of the doubt. I see. And actually, we had a really, really serious conversation, obviously, Friday later, because he's 25. He's at that age of like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I'm like, no, dude, I don't want you sorry. Right. I don't want you sorry at all. I want you to get your shit together. Right. Be accountable for yourself. Yeah, be a man. Yeah, like at, you have to realize now that what you do affects other people and there's mm-hmm. consequences for that. And you're lucky that it's me because any uh, anybody else – would have t- tore your ass out. Oh yeah, they would have. They would have beat his ass when he pissed on the groceries. Yeah, a lot of people. And he's like, "Oh well, but you mad at me for stuff that's not really my fault." I don't even remember doing that. I was like, "That makes it worse." <sighs> See, that dude. makes it worse. Yeah, that makes it. You stop talking. Exactly, making it worse. Yeah. So he's that's where his head's at. He's twenty five, and I'm and I and I told him eventually he and I said like, "I want you to do this right now. I'm really mad at you. Give me some space." Yeah. Oh, but I just want. I don't want you mad at me. I'm like, see, this is the problem. You don't respect other people you only concerned about yourself right. even right now right it's more important to you that i say it's okay you when feel it's not better. okay to make right. you feel better right despite what you did to me you don't care about if i feel better right you don't care if i was sleepy all day because i had got woken up in the middle <laughs> of the night you don't care that i ain't, i can't i ain't got my grocery still from two months ago you don't care about that that's i'm not in your opinion but you feel okay now emotionally because i've said it's fine yeah. but it's not fine dude it's not fine. Right. And you need to take some responsibility for it. And he's like, okay, fine, fine, fine. Then we, if that's the way it is, then, you know, I guess you don't want to be my friend no more. I'm like, oh my God, he's a child. <laughs> he is a child. He is a child. He's a child. He is a complete and utter child. He needs to grow up. Well, he does need that. I don't know if he will. But yeah. He's, he's already getting in trouble, like a, around. I mean, this particular time, other times too, but he's getting some, some back flack from the other roommates about this. Yeah. It's like, that's not cool. Right. Not cool, not cool. Even if it didn't, didn't happen to me. Yeah. But don't do it to Pip. Pip has been cool roommate. Let's not let's not piss off the new good roommate <laughs> that pays his bills <laughs> on time. time, right? Um, that and, cleans. And and if he's doing that sh- stuff to you, I can Im- only imagine that I'm sure the other ones aren't, you know, getting away scot free. I'm oh, sure they are. Oh. I, oh, I brought that up. Oh. I was like, "Have you ever had a situation I named my other roommate? Nope, never had any problem with her. Not once." In- that's interesting. I was like, I've been here two months. Two months. Yeah. And this is what, like, fourth mm-hmm. fourth incident? Fourth incident. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. You've been way too patient. <laughs> way too patient. Yeah. You yeah. should have nipped this shit in the bud long ago, my brother. Wow. That's unfortunate. But I'm glad that you were trying to address it now. So, hopefully, he will heed the warning because he doesn't want to incur the wrath of hopefully. Pip. And it's out, it's out there, too. I put it on social media. His boyfriend is behind me. His boyfriend's behind me. I'm sure. Mostly for work. You know, I'm, like, going too much into work stuff. But uh, just a lot. It's crazy at work. Um, I'm, I've am i had a lot of vacancies, and another person ju- uh, is leaving. And I'm actually trying to promote and, you know, trying. I got one, for, one foot in the door, one foot out. And just the, the whole – for, for bureaucracy and government, the way sure. the way that the process for promote, I've been this 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 process for me getting this promotion started almost a year ago. I can believe that, and it's just it's it is so grueling and taxing emotionally. You know, just the energy that it takes to get up for the interviews and mm-hmm. different things. It's uh, it is. It, I'll be so glad when it's over. Not to mention how draining you know. Just my, my my work is, you know, being overworked and understaffed. And it's just, ah, so that's, it's been a lot. And then my dad, he's still in the hospital, but he is out of ICU. That's good. So shout out for that. Shout out to for dad, to dad for getting a little better. Uh, he's still got a ways to go. He's still pretty weak. Last time I saw him, he couldn't even hold. He had a little plastic cup that he wanted some water. I had to pour it over the water and hold it for him. Like he wasn't even strong enough to hold that little plastic cup of water. Like, you know, so that's, he's still really, really weak right now, but he's, he's breathing on his own now. And, you know, so he's, he's on the men, he's on the men. Thank you guys 
for all you guys who uh, wrote in and, and told me that you were praying for them and sending good thoughts and things like that. I appreciate you. I love you. It it really means a lot. This is not just, you know, me just, you know, spewing platitudes. It really means a lot to me when you guys do that, that, that kind of thing. And I really appreciate it. So uh, thank you. Um, and then the whole termite thing, you know, that's a big, a lot of rigmarole, mm. you know, but nothing, you know, fun or sexy or whatever to talk about. So coming to a head though, it's coming to a head. We, we actually, you know, D day is, is a uh, Thursday and then we'll, you know, be back in the house on Saturday in time to do the show on Sunday. So you guys won't miss any shows because of the, uh, red rock being terminate, uh, term termited or fumigated or however you want to say it. So, you know, and, uh, again, let me say a uh, shout out to, uh, those of you checking, check, checking in on beat break radio. Um, thank you guys for checking in where music and talk radio lives. And, uh, those who are checking in from all across our platforms, we're not live today, but, um, Hey, welcome in. Welcome to the show. And with that, let's go ahead and get in these topics. Let's do it. News and noteworthy. Isn't it? Boy Scouts of America have a pedophile epidemic oh. and are hiding hundreds in its ranks, lawyers claim. I don't know if it's more shocking that this is a thing or that I'm not shocked that this is a thing. You know what I mean? Like I know exactly what you mean. I, I, I Of course, it seems. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's like, of course there are. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, it's like after the right up there with the Catholic Church. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I would guess there's probably even more uh, 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 abusive scout masters than there are priests. Sure, you just you, you know what I mean. You basically handing your child off to somebody who, just by the nature of their position, you're like, oh yeah, they're trustworthy. Right. Right. Without any vetting process, mm-hmm. just the fact that they have that job. Yep. And guess where a lot of the stuff took place? Where is that? Sleepovers. Oh, no. Camping yeah. trips. Right. Mm-hmm. Jamborees. Mm-hmm. The very place that Dino Red don't let his daughter go, and people be trying to, I ain't trying to say no names, DJ Monique, but uh, be trying to give me static for it. <laughs> like I, I'm making up shit. I know mm. for a fact. I don't know enough people who done got abused on those situations first-hand experience that I know that that when what what type of shit happens you know in that environment so yeah Danya gets to go no sleepovers she gets to go no camping in nobody's woods you know but uh <laughs> you know, my, my scout leader who was not a pedophile was a female okay not that that can't they can't be right because that's I was molested by a female so. but I had a female scout leader but I never had a sleepover <laughs> never went to jamboree <laughs> so okay well we got a clip here and i'm gonna go ahead and play the clip a pedophilia epidemic that is how a new lawsuit describes the problem of child sex abuse in the boy scouts of america you cannot trust the boy scouts of america to weed out the bad apples because they haven't accusations of child sex abuse have plagued the organization for over a decade But this complaint, filed on behalf of one anonymous accuser, alleges 350 new victims have come forward this year. And that the Boy Scouts of America hid the scope of the problem for decades to protect its reputation and the alleged abusers, including a former mayor and a local doctor. That night, um, we're lights out and I'm going asleep and stuff and I feel breath on my neck. And I feel somebody touching me, and I hear his voice. James Kretschmer, who spoke to NBC News last month, says in the 1970s, he was molested by a scout leader while on a camping trip. He touched you inappropriately. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he he groped me. While NBC News is not able to independently verify his account, we did speak with multiple people who confirmed Kretschmer told them of the alleged incident at the time. We have a client who's 14 years old, and we have... A client who's 97 years old. In a statement, the Boy Scouts of America says, in part, we immediately investigated the limited information provided by the alleged victim's attorneys and made 120 reports to law enforcement. The organization says it believes the victims and sincerely apologizes to anyone who was harmed. 
and that it has taken significant steps over many years to ensure that it responds aggressively to reports of abuse. But Kretschmer says the Boy Scouts of America is beyond repair.